I know people who's been traumatized and or something has happened in their past and they stay stuck there meaning that something can happen in the 90s and now we're all the way 2023 and all you do is keep remembering what happened that day in the 90s and you live it over and over and over and over again and you're not progressing in your natural life so, so <clears throat> there's a couple different things i can't get into too deep because we don't have I, I could talk about this for two weeks and probably still have time <laughs> a couple things i just like to touch on Bessel van der Kolk, the body keeps the score, is considered, considered to be one of the lay Bibles of what trauma looks like, how does it happen, mm -hmm. and what is it, right? Right. And the timekeeper that's part of your brain gets dissociated when the traumatic event happens. So when you talk about triggers and flashbacks, it's part of it because now we recognize, like, I'm, I'm, I'm reading everything. Come I've on, read I need 90, to hear about this. I've Let's read, talk like, about this. Okay, I mean, we, I'm just saying, we'll, we'll, I'll, top, I'll touch on a couple of the mountaintops, and then we'll have to, you know, figure mm -hmm. out a way to, to, to cover some of these things. The timekeeper gets taken out of the picture when the traumatic event happens. Right. The other thing that's happening is when these events happen in our childhood, before it's what they call developmental trauma. Developmental trauma creates because we as children don't realize that we're not, that our survival is not at risk, or sometimes our survival is. Our parents feed us. When you see dad hit mom, it gives you a sense of things are not safe. Right. When house is not safe or something, when something like that happens, you know, or when, or if you live, like I've had, I've had like clients, I do juvenile work too. I've had clients being shot at, right? When home is not safe. And we're talking about projects. I've represented people from, you know, everywhere. I've represented rich people, poor people, middle people, black people, white people, Asian people, doesn't matter. I just want to help people, right? But people, when, you're, when your childhood is not safe, then you develop these react, you develop what they call a trauma reaction, right? Right. So there's another book by a guy named Dan Koonsman. He talks about thinking fast and slow, system one, system two thinking. So there's, we have our reactions and then we have our well thought out things, right? So trauma reaction creates a trauma reaction. Trauma creates a reaction. Right. And so what we're talking about, the timekeeper gets taken out, sometimes there's an anchor but now all of a sudden you're in your adulthood and now they're, they're getting ready to take your kid, guess what? Now you're going back to that old trauma stuff and how did you try to survive as a kid? And some of that stuff now becomes a maladaptive behavior because that's certain, you, that's, how you, that's how you stayed alive back then and now it's fight, fight, freeze, or fawn because now your amygdala's kicked into it and so now you've got a whole biology behind doing the thing that you thought is gonna keep you safe back then but it's reactive, you know? This it's is reactive. Good stuff, good stuff. And then that's not even getting into intergenerational trauma. We can talk about the egg that was you, that was inseminated, mm -hmm. that was fertilized, that became you. Like when was that egg physically created? You know, just give you five months into your mother's gestation in your grandmother's womb. Ooh. So when we talk <laughs> about like intergenerational trauma, like when you're at the forefront of what's the research showing, the research showing is that there is mRNA that's being transferred between our grandparents and the womb and the eggs growing in the, in the, the, the uh, ovaries of our mothers, right? So I'm just saying there's so much there and then you've got the nurture aspect. You know, we, now we know how important it is to have uh, attachment between mothers and children and fathers and children. Right. And now we're coming out of this system where kind of like coming out of the Cold War 1950s, 60s, 70s era when the father was at work and of course the mother was seen as being, and, and there's terrible things going on between men and women when it comes to raising children. Men want to be more involved and now we're seeing that men must be more involved to have a healthy child, right? And now we're coming out of a whole generation of people that courts said, dad's not important. Dad gets one weekend every other weekend and maybe one dinner a week. That's four, I've had a client break it down and tell me the exact number of minutes that he gets to, to have with his child per month. Wow. And it is, it is like, think about that. That's if crazy. you get the child for 24 hours, like two days over the weekend, that's 48 hours. So you get two weekends. Now that's 48, that's, that's what, 94, 96? Two. So 96 hours. Mm -hmm. And then you get, here, here, let's throw in this bonus. You get to have dinner with them for two hours every Wednesday. Sucks. Now let's, that's four times eight, you know, four times two is eight, add that. 104 hours with your kid over the course of a month, right? That sucks. So, like, that's what that's but what I'm doing. Yeah, is like, you know, yeah. But uh, I don't know what the I, answer I, I, is. I wish people could like work that out and without the court that's system. That's what that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah. That's what better clients make better lawyers, right? 
And if the lawyer can get you to understand how this thing is harming you, how this trauma reactive state is actually making it so you can't heal your family, you know, because everyone's trying to protect the kid because they're scared of the other person. There's a reason why you got divorced. And it's not because you love each other unconditionally anymore, you know? <laughs> you don't do it. And so, like, the, and, and usually have been terrible things that have transpired between people that make you fall out of love after, after doing that ceremony, right? And who knows? But it's not just that stuff. It's criminal stuff. It's the addictions. It's the drugs. It's the video games, you know? Escapism, running from pain and going to pleasure.